But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 9. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first time visitors, make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our welcome center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray that the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday noonday prayer. If you are available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. The fire ministry, the Free Indeed Recovery Experience, is postponed during the month of September and will resume in October. See you then. The new membership class is scheduled for this Wednesday, September 25th. So, you've been coming to church for a while now, and now you want to make Philadelphia your official church home. Then join us on September 25th this Wednesday and learn the history, doctrine, and mission of Philadelphia. The new membership class is also open to anyone living out of state. You'll be able to join us on live stream to be a part of the class. All married couples are encouraged to join us for the marriage ministry on this Friday night, September 27th at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. The Usher Ministry will be having a mandatory meeting on October 5th at 9 a.m. This is also open to all who want to join the Usher Ministry as well. So come and be used to usher in the precious sheep of God. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here. The last day for registration is tonight. The draft will be held on this Thursday evening right after prayer. You will not enter the draft if registration fee is not paid. All flag football coaches will be meeting after Bible study. And lastly, two more women coaches are needed for the HFL Women's League. Please visit the registration table for more information. Guys, look, we definitely want you to stay connected with what's going on here at Philadelphia Christian Church. Staying connected is very, very simple. All you have to do is text at PhillyNet to 81010. That's right, at PhillyNet to 81010, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions. Also, if you want to be part of the prayer line, all you have to do is text at PrayNet to 81010. Again, at PrayNet to 81010, follow the on-screen instructions, and you'll definitely be connected. Guys, thank you so much. Right now, let's take a moment and check out our next Philly Testimonies. What's up, Philly? I told y'all we we're gonna be hitting y'all all morning. I'm standing next to my brother right here. And listen, I have a question of the day for you. And the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Uh, Omar Tebow. He invited me himself, personally. He said, come out and worship with us, man, and I've been coming this ever since. I got you. So the next question I have for you, when you first came, what was that experience like? Man, it's a new foundation, man, you know, it's harvest season, you know, you, you dig up old ground and plant new seeds, man, you, you reap the harvest. I got you, I got you, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Back at it again with some more members of Philadelphia. Listen, I have a question for the day for y'all, and the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Uh, the first person, it was a former member, I think her name was, uh, Japera, and uh, yeah, she invited me or whatever, and then uh, I was at 201, 
Yes, sir. Yeah, the old church, and then since then, I uh, came here with my wife. Right? My first person was my cousin Sherman Bernard. Invited me here. And I've been here since. I got you. So I have one more question for y'all. When y'all first came, what was that experience like? Your first time? Oh man, a lot better than uh, some of the other places I've been. Um, you know, that's why, honestly, why yeah, I continue to come. Yeah, it's a lot better. You know, I come from uh, a different church. I ain't gonna name the name, but you know, yeah. I came from the Catholic Church, and my first experience was actually at a funeral. And the first thing I thought was, I've been lied to this whole time, and I kept coming back for the truth. I got y'all. I appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed one. Philly, we're here with Trey. How's it going, guys? What's up, Trey? Listen, man, I got the question of the day for you. Yes, what's and going on? the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? The first person that that invited me to Philly was actually my parents, and through them, it was actually um, a pastor's first cousin, uh, Carnell Como, who invited us here. So we started coming here about. About six, almost seven years ago, we started off on Pine Street, and ever since then, we've been coming to Philly. It's just, it's been a blessing experience. I got you, I got you. So, I have one more question for you. Yes, sir. When you first came to Philly, what was that experience like? It was, at the time, it was like the Pine Street location is a lot smaller than it was now, so it was like the location, it was very, very packed, but the experience, it was. It was just something like I've never heard before. It was a word that I've never heard before. It's something that I've, I've never felt before in my life. And it was, the experience, it was just truly life-changing. There's n nothing, nothing like, like, like we experience here at Philly. Like, I go to other churches and it, it just doesn't feel the same. I feel so welcome here and the, the word is just always on fire, consistently. It's very consistent here, so. It's, it's truly a blessing all the time. I got you, man. I appreciate you, man. Philly, there you have it. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give a happy 45th birthday to the twins, Trinessa Montgomery and Trinitra Cormier from Family and Friends. Happy birthday. Also, happy 34th birthday to sister DeAndrea Frank. Happy birthday. Congratulations to PCA's volleyball team on their recent wins this week. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Let's congratulate the Scott family with a happy 21-year anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Malcolm and Vanessa Scott. Happy anniversary and glory to God. Congratulations to Brandy Moore and Rosalind Landry on the purchase of their new home. Two sisters in Christ making kingdom moves. All the glory belongs to God for his unprecedented favor. And let's congratulate Tara Tebow for making 15 years at AT&T. The race is not given to the swift, but to those who endure. Let's congratulate PMG's very own A Voice who will be releasing his new EP, Reflections, this Friday, September 27th. It'll be available for digital download on Apple Music, Google Play, and everywhere you get your digital music. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. 